You're the last one. Complete the mission. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Xtreme Mexican. And welcome back, my boy, to another video. Another recipe. And today, we are going to do something special. Something that came in my mind. We're going to do multi-piece bread filled with spinach, tomato paste, olives, capers, butter beans, and everything else. I'm going to show you the ingredients in a sec. We're going to put it in the oven. After that, it's going to be super fucking delicious. So without further ado, let's dive in head first and see the ingredients that we need for this recipe. Flip it. So what you see to make this bread, you need a big nice brown bread. I bought this from Maple just now, fresh. We're gonna cut it and then remove the cheese, but I'm gonna tell you that later on. So this is from Maple this morning, fresh, whole. 12 cloves of garlic. One red onion. Maltese cheeselet. Pepper, Maltese cheeselet. Mint. Cherry tomatoes. Butter beans. Black olives. Capers. Green olives. Five cans of tuna. You can choose your tuna. How do you like? Tomato paste. Olive oil extra virgin. Smoked paprika. Westchester sauce. Spinach. Because we need to fill it to the brim. Tomato paste I showed you and black peppers and cherry tomatoes just in case I didn't show you I forgot something so those are all the ingredients you need as you see right here because I have a lot take a closer look so we have green olives black olives butter beans capers Maltese pepper cheeselets spinach Cherry tomatoes, five cans of tuna, tomato paste, ten cloves of garlic, one red onion, Westchester sauce, olive oil, smoked paprika, and black pepper, and some mint. So let's start by cutting the garlic and the onion, and I will be back with you and, and remove the bones from the the olives and stuff like that, and cut the leaves of this, and I will be back with you in a sec. See you. You're gonna see a time lapse right now. So now my boys, that we have everything prepared, almost everything. So, and this cost my dumbest for gold. So you need about 200 to 250 grams of cherry tomatoes. And for the olives, 200 grams of black olives and 200 grams of green olives. I'm sorry, I completely forgot. Now, for the cheese that we're gonna do it later, in this video, in this clip, but we're gonna do it like that. We're gonna do about five cheeses, four to five cheeses. So now, let's switch on our shit. Now, 
mes potes. On va le voir. Ok, nos tomates. On le voit, on peut avoir spinach. We need the bread to be filled, not half filled. I put like, maybe let's say, because these are frozen, right? A bunch of them. You know, we're gonna close it, but before that, Say sauce. So it will become better and our small paprika. Low heat. Fresh black pepper. The tuna. We're going to put it at last. Now that we, when we will see that the Finish. We'll start cooking, we're gonna put our garlic and our onion. So when I put this, let me cover it up and I will be back with you in a sec. I know I said the cheese that we're gonna cut it now, but I better do it in another clip. Because I'm recording this at 4K at 60 frames per second and yo, to render this shit, it's amazing. See you in a bit. So we are going to open our fresh pack of cheese that for this shit. I'm going to use the knife to open this shite. It's better. Now when we are finished with these, we are going to put them in the oil. So now this one, we're gonna cut them like this. We're gonna cut them like this. And then from the middle. That's it, let me, let me bring about my cheese. Okay, like this, they will be delicious, and this one we're going to put them with the mixture inside, huh? not to cover the top, to cover the top it's going to be different. Okay. And that's it for now. So we will we'll put three. Right? So now the fourth one is going to cover the top of the bread. It's going to cover the top of the bread. And that's it. You see? Beautiful. Amazing. I'm gonna see you when I when it's time to put the garlic and the onion and then we're gonna put everything together. The olives and stuff like that. See you in a bit. So now my boys, it's time to put our mixture. The, oh my god, the tuna, the tuna and everything else, we're going to leave it for last. And the butter beans, we have the butter beans, don't forget about the butter beans. That one is the last 
resource. The butter beans, the tuna, is gonna be fully packed, baby. It's gonna be fully packed with goodies. Just do it on medium flame right now. On medium flame. And let's leave it cook, baby. See you in a bit. So now, please, we are going to put our tuna. Five cans of tuna. Of Rio Mare, I chose Rio Mare because I like it. Let's give it a mix real quick. My God. Let me grab the shit. This one is done, by the way. So now we're going to put the capers. We're going to put some capers inside. Not too much. Some butter beans. I'll give it a mix. We yeah, don't want to crunch them. These we're gonna put them like this raw. We're gonna have more for another recipe for pasta, I think. So, Maltese cheese lid, some mint, And some cherry tomatoes. Like that. Now it's time to fill our fucking bread, bro. I'm gonna see you in a sec. I'm gonna show you how we cut the bread and remove everything. We still need to cover the bread and tomato paste and stuff like that. And everything else. And put it in the oven. See you in a bit. Cheers, players. So now we are having fun in this sun. And we are going to cut our bread. Make it like that. Holy macro. And we're gonna remove our that one. Like that. And like that. You will see this one. Then, now, we're gonna cover it, move back please, we're gonna do some some tomato juice, like this, I will show you inside when I will cover it, pause.
that is the inside cover. Like that, now time to fill it. Move a bit. So now we are going to grab the stuff and fill it. Yo, I made so fucking ingredients that tomorrow there will be other recipe dropping with these ingredients. I think. Just like that, fill it good, pour from that. Okay, and this the ingredients right here that you're gonna see. Tomorrow we are going to make some pasta with them. That is it. So now, that's not all. That's not all. There's more. There's more shit to do. Now, the final shit that we are going to do is the Maltese cheese set. Like this. Like that. Like this. And like that and like that, uh huh. This is how we do it. Like this. More. Some grated cheese. I thought of it now. Some black pepper. Cover it up, just like that, and we're going to put it inside the oven, just a second, please. let me fill this hole so it doesn't fucking leak, pause, just like that, come with me, change size, uh, where's the other fucking black dish? I need the black dish. Okay, you fuck. So now we're gonna remove this. Put this. Put this in the chair. Put this baby right here. And we're gonna leave it for about 25 to 30 minutes like this so I'm got maximum heat 250 degrees for about 25 minutes see you and for the final result my dear. so okay so we're gonna make the final results a bit different since Results of the Maltese bread filled with all the things. Beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, we yeah, have that was it for this video. That was what is bread filled with tuna, olives, and all that kind of stuff that I fucking said in the beginning. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit notification by now below to see my videos. Comment also in the below to cook next. Share my video with my people. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode. Over damn shop.
It's your boy X in Mexico. I'm out. Peace. Let's head to the head. One up, my team. Top bet. Your boy is up. Ten David to entry team. Your mission's complete. Good job. Head back to talk.